On the morning of March 12, 10 a.m., more than 70 students arrived in the school theater to have the last Saturday rehearsal for Annie production. Annie is a famous Broadway musical telling the story of an orphan. Harry decides to perform this musical again, with nearly 130 students and teachers involved in the cast, live band, state management team, technical crew, and the design teams. Any production is so far considered the biggest show performed in Harrow in 2022. My name is Lamont and I am acting as the Daddy Warbucks in the Annie. We have been preparing since the very start of last term, um, which is like quite a long time to be honest. I'm really honored to play the main character of Annie of course. Um, I like the character Mr. Warbucks, but I mean, it's I did have quite a hard time trying to memorize the lines because it's like pages and it's quite stressful, but I think I like it overall. There are many funny things, many um, accidents that makes everyone laugh. Once when we're practicing a scene, I would, like I prepare a box, uh, like a gift for Annie um, to tell her that I want to adopt her. And then um, at that time, our character, the character Grace was supposed to say, oh, the box from Tiffany's, we're gonna give it to Annie. However, her tone, um, her tone of how she speak was like, oh, the box from Tiffany's, the one we're going to poison Annie, like evil, and everyone make fun of it. Oh, here, Miss Hannigan. And Miss Hannigan, what? Wait, stop, 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 you need to, you need to go through this. Of course, that's right, like, Tiffany's, that's right, Tiffany's, 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 so you say, well, I guess I'd like Grace here too, and Carla. Oh, and Mrs. Pugh and Sophia. I guess I'd like everyone. Let's go from there. Well, I guess I'd like. Well, I guess I'd like Grace here, and Miss Pugh, and oh, Sophia. I guess I'd like everybody here. Okay. My name is Tantian, and I'm playing the character Annie. And the start, when we just started rehearsing, I was super nervous, and um, I think I'm doing everything wrong. Especially like in the songs, I just my voice just starts shaking, uh, and I think every, every I just always think like, oh, everyone's so disappointed. Uh, now I don't think I care as much. Like the confidence just kind of built up. Um, I feel like really I feel really honored, and, uh, but I'm also just kind of scared that I'm gonna not do well or something. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna try. I find her very interesting and I like being the villain, it's very fun because I can exert all my negative emotions on the poor children who are acting the orphans. I can shout at them all the time. But no, actually, I yeah, I enjoy the, the process. And the teachers are very helpful and supportive. Uh, it was hard for me to keep up with the rhythm, but I'm getting better at that, so I think I'll be fine. <laughs> 
Um, memorable moment. I think it's when Mr. Mins rode his moped and then he fell. And it was very funny. Although I shouldn't have laughed, but yes, it was funny. My name is Kevin Zhao, so I'm playing piano in the band. Actually, it's quite hard for band to go through a pieces from the beginning to the end. There's confident, I mean, there's often members missing. From now, the band works quite well. For band, it's a my ex expectation is probably just uh, go through all the uh, I mean, all the pieces without any mistakes or any delay in the real performance. Then. Like the band is the band's job is just to perform well and to contribute what is actually on the stage. So if all the pieces is performed in a very high in a high scale, then I think that's our job still. So my name is Mr. Grant, and uh, for Annie, I am the director of the show band. Okay, well we started quite a long time ago, I think in, uh, would be September. So that's where I started, started to uh, give all the different players the music, start to get the band together, search for members, and ensure that we have all the parts covered in terms of the instrumentation. And then we scheduled a series of rehearsals at weekends and also part of the LSAs on a Thursday to start first just going through the music and getting the students um, familiar with the music. So we did that also for giving them the links for songs so they can uh, listen to them so they can begin to get a bit more familiar. The students have done fantastic, considering this, um, a lot of students haven't done this sort of work before where you're learning so much repertoire in a short space of time. They've done fantastic. The, uh, the music is not easy. It's got a lot of uh, jazz elements, some rhythmically quite challenging uh, parts. So all in all, they've done really, really well. They've dedicated themselves to it. They've uh, been open-minded to perhaps playing some styles of music they're not used to. And they've also um, shown great resilience and really, really, you know, um, demonstrated a lot of the Harrow values, really. My name is Apple Wen, I'm in year 12, and I'm a stage manager. We simply just setting up the stage, bringing props on and off. Sometimes we will forgot, um, forget to bring stuff on, and maybe forgot what is in this scene. Um, I made a list of stuff in each scene, for example, Act 1, Scene 1, there's beds, so I make notes about who's setting what things on stage, so the logic is clear. So it's simply just giving them jobs to do and it's easy for them just putting things on and off. I'll just keep keep an eye on them to keep everything um, logic and stuff. Student performances in the rehearsals have been really good. They've worked really, really hard in rehearsals, so it's been lovely to see uh, their hard work whilst they've been practicing on stage. Um, and obviously, every week we've been meeting up to rehearse as well as extra weekends and rehearsals. So we chose Annie the Musical because um, it's quite a big cast and we've got lots of talent at the 
Christmas films. We wanted to try and get as many students involved in the production. So um, we've had lots of staff involved in making sure the students are ready. Um, we've had people helping with singing, we've had people helping with choreography, um, and we've also had help people directing, marketing, costume, uh, set design. So there's been lots and lots of staff help. Um, which has been really nice to witness. Well, we're always working towards being ready, but the students are definitely on their way for their performance in 10 days' time. In the current days, COVID-19 cases in Beijing is rising dramatically. It was in doubt if the show can still be performed next week, when the situation even gets worse. On the morning of March 15th, we were called to a meeting in the Mini Theatre where we were informed that some fairly important information will be announced. Okay, so what's happening is we have rescheduled the show for Friday, um, making sure that we can still perform it to um, the school community. Um, so we will be doing our technical rehearsals tomorrow, which is Wednesday, and our dress rehearsals on Thursday. It's going to be crazy, it's going to be lots of hard work, but I think the adrenaline and the excitement from all the cast will definitely help to make it an amazing show. Um, it's, well, it's just we're trying to um, be proactive, making sure that obviously if anything does happen in the next couple of weeks, we've done our show and we've celebrated all the hard work that they've done. Technical rehearsal on Wednesday, dress rehearsal on Tuesday. The any crew doesn't have lots of time left. They definitely need to seize the last two days of preparation. Remember, as will be the show night soon. not very very good definitely singing uh, singing is not my strong area so. um, I think now what the students have to focus on is keeping focused we've got this momentum in terms of the show and um, it, getting all together within a you know, short space of time so they're going to be moved on with quite a lot of adrenaline what they have to make sure is they keep those um, their excitement and adrenaline at the same time as staying focused during the show there are quite uh, there are parts of the show where they're not doing anything. So it's, like, so it's to ensure that you are still performing even though you're not doing anything and that you have to keep focused and be ready. Obviously, as you get the audience involved and they start to come into the performance space and, and you get that atmosphere that's created on performance night, I think that that is where the show will really take off and come, come alive.
I'd say as a actor, I'm you know, never fully prepared because you know, no one can reach perfection. So yeah. I feel like my expectations aren't that high and that if everyone enjoys the show and that's the most important thing. I would just want to say that uh, it's been an enormous privilege ever since I came to this school to know how fantastic and how talented all of you are. But it's been a desire and a wish that we could finally get back to doing something which demonstrated just what a fabulous school we really are. And you have done it for me today. I am so proud of you all and to be your head and all the staff and all of the cast, the crew, the technical, the enormous efforts that have gone in to make what I consider to be an exceptional, exceptional performance this afternoon. So it goes without saying that I would like everyone not just to clap, but to stand and clap to the cast of Annie, please.